Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an editable 3D text effect that also works with shapes and objects in Photoshop. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have images to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So we're starting off here with a custom background that I made that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. If you want to use the same background you can find it in the project files. So the first thing that we need to do is create some text. Thick fonts will typically work best for this effect. Next we're going to create an action set. So click on the actions palette. If you don't see the actions palette over here you'll want to click window actions to get it to pop up. So first we'll come down and click the new set icon and name our set 3D text and hit OK. Then we're going to click the create new action button here and we're going to name our action 3D up and we want it to be in the 3D text set. Lastly, I want to apply a function key to this action so we can apply it quickly without having to use our mouse. So I'm going to set that to F12 and then hit record. Now this action is going to be really simple. All you want to do is click Ctrl J to duplicate our text layer. And then you're just going to press the up arrow key on your keyboard to move that copy up one pixel. After you've done that, just hit stop to stop recording your action. Now that we have our action, I can minimize the actions palette and delete this text layer that we used to create the action. Then I'm going to right click my text layer and choose convert to smart object. Now we're going to add a layer style to our smart object. So I'm going to double click on the layer in the layers palette to bring up the layer style dialog. And the first thing that we're going to add is a gradient overlay. So I'm going to click on my gradient here and double click the first stop here to open my color picker. And since I already have colors picked out I'm going to use the hex codes down here. So the first color is 518351 and I'm going to double click the second stop to use another color and that's going to be 1A401A and then I'm going to hit OK. Next I'll add a really subtle drop shadow. I'm going to set the blend mode to multiply, the opacity to just 4% and then I'm going to uncheck use global light and set the angle to 90 degrees and then set my distance to 21 and everything else to 0 and hit OK. Then I'm going to click this arrow in the layers palette to minimize my layer effects just to save some space in the layers palette. Now that we have our layer set up, I'm going to press F12 to run the action we previously created. So I'm going to press that about 30 times or until I get the thickness that I like in my 3D text. So here we have some 3D text, but I want to change the top layer to look a little different so it makes it look even better. So first I'm going to right click the top layer and choose clear layer style. And then I'm going to double click on it to open the layer style dialog again. And this time we're going to use some different effects. But again, first we're going to go add a gradient overlay. And for my first color, I'm going to use the hex code 6DC96D and hit OK. And for the second color, I'm going to use the code 1B421B and hit OK. Next, I'm going to use the inner shadow effect to give it a little highlight. First I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay and the color to white. And then I'm going to uncheck use global light and set the angle on that to negative 60 degrees. I'm going to leave the opacity at 75% and then I'll change the distance to 4 and the size to 0. Next I'm going to add the satin effect and again I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay and set the color to white. Then I'll change the opacity to 25% the angle to 92 degrees, the distance to 90, and the size to 120 pixels. If it's not already selected, you'll want to choose this contour here, which is named Gaussian. Lastly, we'll give it a drop shadow. So we'll change the blend mode to overlay, the color is black, and then I'll change the opacity to 50%, uncheck use global light and set the angle to 90 degrees, and then change the distance to 20 and the size to 35. And that's it for our top layer layer style, so I'll just hit OK. Now you can see that we have a nice 3D text effect. And since we created everything as a smart object, we can go in and edit the text at any time. So all you have to do to edit the text is double click the thumbnail on any of these smart objects to bring it up in a new window. And I'm going to change the text from 3D text to the word Neato. And then when I hit save and go back into my other document, you'll see that the text has changed on all my layers. What's really cool about this effect is that it can not only be used with text but shape layers as well. So if I double click on my thumbnail for the smart object 
and hide my text layer, I can then use something like the custom shape tool to draw a shape on my layer. Now if I save that and go back into my document, you'll see that I've created a 3D shape. Now if you want to change the colors, you can always go back into the layer styles and change it that way, but then you'd have to copy that layer style to all of the other layers. An easier way to make subtle changes is to group everything into one layer and then use adjustment layers to make the changes. So I'm going to click this icon here to create a new group and I'll name that 3D text. And then I'm going to select all my layers and press control right square bracket to move them all into my group. Next I'll add a hue saturation adjustment layer and click this icon to clip it to my group below. That way the changes that I make will only affect that 3D text group. Then I can adjust things like the hue and saturation and it will only affect my 3D group. You can use any of the other adjustment layers in the same way to change the look of your 3D object. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.